at Staples Center in Los Angeles, the home of the Lakers here on 2K Sports. So glad you can join us for this presentation of 2K Sports in the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan joining me, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Noah is out there with Carlos Boozer. Then it's Dang. Then it's Nate Robinson. And it's Rose in at the one. And for the Lakers, Paul Gasol is out there with World Peace. Then it's Nash. Then there's Howard. And it's Kobe in at the shooting guard position. You know, the Bulls were a tough team while traveling last season and ended up with the second most road wins in the Eastern Conference, trailing only the Miami Heat. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Nash outside. Knocking down is Bryant. They get a hand on it. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. That steal led to that easy transition basket. You know, Steve, they, they've got those guys reeling a little bit right now. We're talking about the Bulls on the road. They got those 26 road wins by, I think, getting really tough. Mm -hmm. Well, they're such a good rebounding team, guys. And when you rebound on the road, it gives you a chance to win. Goes up with a strike. Nash with the bucket. Guys, you're not going to get away with that kind of defense when he's got the ball. I mean, you got to do better than that. Robinson gets to Boozer. And then that is done. Well, not much of a job there protecting the rim. I mean, poor. Well, he just pretty much opened the door for it. Yeah. He didn't waste the opportunity, did he? We'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Mike Brown. What's the news there, Doris? Yes, guys. He said, I think this game will prove what a sharp team we are defensively. You're going to see us communicating, helping, and anticipating where the ball's going and where we need to be. Their defense is on a string, guys. Terrific, Doris. Thanks. Uh, Clark, what's your take on that? I like the mindset they're coming in with right now. I think it's the right mindset. A strong defensive effort. From then the day, I mean, I think it's essential. Steve, you all no question. If they can have success defensively, uh, they're going to create some offensive opportunities for themselves in transition. Solo break. Here's Kobe. Oh, and the jump by Kobe Bryant. And now, here's the Spike Sam Cam replay. Now that's a special order right there. Not everybody can cap off a dunk like that. Yep, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. Now Kobe Bryant still chasing that sixth ring. And if he ends up getting it, he would tie Michael Jordan. And of course, Michael was always a tremendous inspiration for Kobe Bryant. Here's Nash. He's covered by Rhodes. Kobe, the pass to Nash. And Rose picks him up defensively. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Steve, you mentioned Kobe's still working toward those six rings. He's got five right now. But Kobe said, thought that, you know, tying Jordan <laughs> wasn't his motivation. you believe that? Well, I do think he wanted to help Phil Jackson go out on the right, yep. right way. And that, of course, didn't work out. No, it did not work out. But I think it was a combination of factors. One, he obviously wants to do it because he wants to do it. But I don't think the Jordan piece is out of the equation and being one of the inspiring factors for trying to grab that, that sixth one. And, I mean, quite honestly, he's shown that he wants to try to win it every year. Well, he's always compared to Jordan. I mean, why wouldn't they just be an answer? Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Fold him. No, 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 no. Here's Nash. Five points in the game. Nash right side. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. That's good. Nash has got eight points. Here's Rose. He has five. Boy, I tell you, the Lakers are always tough on their home court. I mean, visiting teams can get a little starstruck, too. I mean, all kinds of celebrities hanging out in the crowd. Um, there's as many famous people watching as actually playing in the game when they go play the Lakers. They've got numbers. Booth and Pinto brings it down hard. Great lob, great catch, perfect execution on the alley-oop. And not just with any old finish either, the big stuff. Yeah, a little something for everybody, Kevin. And Ash gets 
double team. Backing down is Howard. Here's Kobe. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Six points for Kobe Bryant. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. Kicks to Barnes. Three-pointer. The open shot. Nash. And it's good. Nash has got ten. What an impressive start here. Four straight hoops for him. That very well could mean, Steve, that he's on his way for a big game. Well, he knows his role. He embraces it. He's really a guy that you can go to offensively. Hamilton against Kobe. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Well, you got to time up the clock, and it's easier said than done. you got to execute your offense on that first possession. Lakers leading by four. Nash outside. Tipped. Chicago with the ball. Trailing by four. Who's it? Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Six points for Carlos Boozer. And the Lakers with some changes. Antoine Jamison's checked in for Gasol. World Peace comes in for Matt Barnes. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Steve Nash. The Bulls also changing it up. Muhammad comes in for Joaquin Noah. And it's Butler in for Luol Dan. That's good from Howard and the assist by Blake. I have to love the vision to find the open man and get him the ball. Outside Rose takes a right up. Rose has got 10. I'm sure they'd like to get more shots like that. And here's Kobe from the arc. No good on the buzzer beat. And so lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. They could. team gaining an edge so far. Chicago trailing here. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So for Chicago right now. The Hamilton out there with Heinrich. That's Taj Gibson. Then there's Nazi Muhammad. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Hey, Kevin. Well, one of the new wrinkles for head coach Mike Brown with the Lakers is the changing of the triangle offense. The Lakers have run it for years, and Shut while they'll have bits and pieces of it incorporated under Brown's system, they'll run a different offense. He says his defensive scheme works with any team, but will tailor the offense to suit the talents of the Lakers. Should be an interesting watch, guys. Always great to hear from you, Doris. It'll be strange not to see the Lakers running the triangle offense. Here's Meeks after Rick Hamilton score. Fires the three, and World Peace gets it to go on the assist by Meeks. They're hovering around 50% for the game and three-pointers. That's pretty good, but they've really elevated here in the second quarter. You know, seeing the Bulls here, this is just absolutely terrific against the Western Conference last year, and I don't think that should be a surprise at all. So it's the Lakers now. Blake dishes to Meeks. From outside the arc. And there's Steve Blake on the assist by Meeks. Blake's got his first three points of the game. I can mention the Bulls in the West. Steve, they were 23-7 against the conference. Very good number. That was the best mark of any team in the East. Three more wins than the Heat, who came in second with 20. Jameson, the screen. Fires, high post. And the Lakers take on two more. Bulls trail by five. Heinrich outside. Let's it go from deep. And that one's good. Heinrich's got six. Well, with a dead-eye shooter like him, it takes more than average defense to put a stop to it. It takes great defense, and even that might not be enough. Off to the races, just really getting up and down the floor. Not much the defense can do there, guys, but let them go. Now here's Jameson. Gets it to go. And the Lakers lead by two. 
Right, you just see them taking it strong into the paint over and over again. Yeah, that really seems to be the strategy, partner. I mean, pound it inside. You know, he can actually be dominant inside. I mean, it's impossible to push him around on the low block. Here are the Lakers with the ball. So, timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Mike Brown taking over as coach of the Lakers this season. I think it's a good fit. He knows what it's like to coach a star because he, he had LeBron in Cleveland. Played in a lot of big games. No doubt he'll be under the spotlight in L.A. with the Lakers. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Hill. Kobe comes in for Meeks. And it's Nash in for Steve Blake. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will boost them the possession. Well, Steve, going back to Mike Brown once more, they're going to expect a lot from him from the get-go, I would imagine, Clark out in Los Angeles, where the NBA is number one out there. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some additional scrutiny and pressure. Uh, it'll be a little hotter on that seat for Mike Brown, but you know what? He coached LeBron James in Cleveland, their expectations were high. Mike Grow as an assistant coach with the Pacers. He's a high-quality guy and a terrific basketball coach. It's win it all or nothing out in L.A. And I think at this point in his career, he's ready for the challenge. Now, there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. They double him with Noah. Nash gets to Jameson. He feeds it to World Peace. It's stolen by Rhodes. And great job on the double team. It ends up big time jam. Let's see it again with the Sprite Slam Cam. Good job there. No hesitation taking the ball right to the rack. You know what, guys? Uh, always the best plan in that situation. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Nash. Ten points for Kobe Bryant. Makes the alley -oop pass. Oh, and a nice defensive play to interrupt the alley -oop. What? And here is Noah. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Rose gets to Dang. From the arc. Rebound by Kobe. And here's Los Angeles. Jamison in the post. He's covered by Dang. World peace against Dang. Jamison. Nash is called for a loose ball foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now here's Noah. And winding down, they're going to go for the last shot here at the court. Yeah, I like the recognition there. They're going to play for the last shot, just as you said. Robinson for three. Good. And the Bulls lead by three. What a game for Rose. He has 14 points and also three steals. That's a first half. Welcome to this edition of HP at the half. A close game going on out in Los Angeles. The Bulls are in a close one against the Los Angeles Lakers. They've been active defensively. Steals, deflections, jumping the passing lanes, forcing miscues. We've seen Derrick Rose scoring effortlessly against the defense of the Lakers. He's up to 14 points and is also working on the other end of the floor. Nice defensive work. There's... Welcome back. A great night here in downtown Los Angeles. All dressed up and ready to go. The Bulls leading by three. They've got world peace. Kobe is out there with Nash. Then it's Pau Gasol. And it's Howard in at the front. Over the bench. That's the Lakers' five. Superb feed there, young fella. It really was. Perfect setup for the lay-in. Well, he just managed to float the ball up there. Go to the block. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's Nash. Well, there was definitely one notable vote for Derrick Rose in his MVP campaign last season. Michael Jordan. That's not a bad endorsement to have. 
Pass to Kobe. Shot clock at six. It's a look. Good off the back of the team. Kobe's got 12 points in the game. And getting back to what Steve was saying as we talked about Jordan and Rose. Jordan said if Rose didn't win the MVP, then he would know how Jordan felt some of those years that he didn't win. You know, Jordan could have won it a few more times. <laughs> Clearly, there's no doubt he had played at that level. But it's always not based on just playing at the level. It's other things and other factors, whether you agree with those or not. But Rose certainly ended up taking the honors this year and deserved it. Start to finish, he was brilliant and consistent. He deserved to be the lead to the By the way, I think LeBron took it personal in that series and he's the Champions Well, that's a case of point. That's kind of what right? Jordan was probably talking yeah. about in his career. Times when Carl Malone won it, I think, once or twice. Absolutely. And people thought Jordan could have won it. You can make the case. And probably LeBron did look at that and say, hey, I put up brilliant numbers again. I'm the two time MVP. Mm -hmm. Should have been that, that trophy should have been in my garage again. Absolutely. For a third time, you know. Locking down is Bryant. Robinson picks him up for the lead. Second shot opportunity. And there's the basket. This is one of his own for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Well, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up. Inside, in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. Antoine Jameson's checked in for the Lakers. Kobe against Hamilton. Connects from three-point range. Hamilton's got five now. Here's Kobe. He's got 15. After coming over from the Celtics, Tom Thibodeau has really brought his brand of defense over to the Bulls. I mean, you've seen it. Hard to argue with the results. He was just what the Bulls were looking for in the new head coach. Nice shot by Jameson. He's got six. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Nash against Rose. Lock at six. Goes up. And it's Boozer that time on the assist by Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. Oh, and you see the turnaround, Clark, that Thibodeau brought to Chicago. You know, Steve, you've been in the front office before hiring and firing coaches. You wonder why he wasn't hired sooner. Well, I actually interviewed Tom Thibodeau in Phoenix, and so maybe I should have hired him. He, he's a phenomenal coach, did a great job with Chicago, and I think that roster was perfectly suited for his style. Thibodeau, very defensive-minded, and he's got a lot of great defenders on that Chicago team. Ellen Ellie, he's checked in for the Bulls. Boy, that's a wonderful read and react play to pick up any White slam cam with the replay. Boy, that is some fantastic body control. I mean, that reverse isn't nearly as easy as he made it look. Not at all. Just a tremendous play. Well, just imagine the confidence it takes even to try that move. Here's Kobe. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Kobe's got seven points for the quarter. He continues to do everything well out there. You know what, and it's really hard based on that to determine what he's done best so far. Outside down. There's the three. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his fourth assist in this one. And Nash gets double team. Dishes to Jamison. That's good, and it's Kobe with the assist. Kobe's got three assists now in this one. And Kobe Bryant, along with Carmelo Anthony, I think are the two most complete scorers in this league. They can find a way to get the ball in the basket from so many different ways. That one goes. Count it. 20 points for Rose. This is a very steady performance offensively for him. They double team Howard. Noah picks him up. Unload for nine. Here's Gasol. Hits it. Well done in the second effort. Second chance is such a huge part of his game. He's really good on the offensive glass.
outside Boozer. Trying to go big for the alley-oop, but good defense got in the way. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. Here's Kobe. Count the basket and the foul. Marco Bellinelli picks it. Some changes for the Lakers. Troy Murphy, he's checked in for Gasol. World Peace comes in for Antoine Jameson. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Steve Nash. The free throw drops for Kobe. Chicago trailing here. Knocked away. Blake with the steal. I really don't like what I'm seeing in the last couple of possessions, Kevin. Now two turnovers in a row. Careless turnovers at that. They're getting a little casual with the ball. That's what that is about right now. Oh, he's pouring it all right now. He's giving him a real injection of all the baseball. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. The way he's moved through the... So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark. Doris, take it away. Hi, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Lakers that garners the Sprite Spark today. In that last quarter, things started falling their way, and they clearly have momentum on their side as we head down the stretch in this one. We'll see if they can maintain that same kind of intensity they just showed us in the third period, guys. Okay, Doris, thank you. And that one part really changed the complexion of this game. Yeah, it sure did. I thought it stirred something up in them that got them on a good run. Yeah, got the ball rolling for them, and they were able to keep it going from there, guys. So with Rose on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. They've got Tosh Gibson. Heinrich is on there with Richard Hamilton. And there's Noah. And it's Butler with the small forward. Puts it up. The offensive rebound. Here's Blake, covered by Hamilton. Tries again, and Hill finishes inside. And the Lakers lead by three. Hamilton with it. Lays it in on the pretty alley -oop. Hamilton's got five points now this quarter. Boy, that was a clever look to get the ball into the paint that time, guys. Here's Blake. Heinrich on the double team. Nash covered by Hamilton. Blake for three. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. 15 play there. You move the ball until you find the right shot for the right person. They're well-oiled machines, Steve. I mean, working extremely well as a cohesive unit. Every pass delivered on time and on target. A lot of ball movement and player movement. It's a thing of beauty. Chicago calls timeout. You know, one of the things I love about Steve Nash, although he is right-handed, he loves to use that little pull-up jump he has when he's going to his left. He's pretty ambidextrous, and I think that goes back to all the time he spent playing soccer. He was mm. equally balanced on both sides of his body, and I see that with a lot of soccer players. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, guys, Tom Thibodeau had some advice for his team in that last timeout. He talked mainly about giving them a different look defensively and dropping more bodies into the paint, saying, listen, they're eating us up on the inside, and we need to do whatever it takes to stop them. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you very much. That's a great point you talked about, the ball jump with Nash and being able to go either way, use either hand. Uh, Steve, you know he can, he can pick teams apart with it. Well, he can do whatever he wants on the floor, Kevin. I mean, what I like best about him is that he just reads the situation each game. And if, it, if his team needs him to score, he'll score. If not, he'll distribute. But he's so skilled, there's not anything that he can't do on the floor. Here's World Peace. Butler covering. And it's World Peace missing. I'll tell you what, it seems like all it takes is just a little bit of defense for him to be tentative on those layup attempts. Pushes up. Rose gets the ball. Rose has got 10 points in just the second half. Carving him up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for the Lakers. Nash comes in for Chris Duhon. Joaquin Noah, he's checked in for Chicago. Bang comes in for Butler. 
Here's Gasol. Nash outside. Backing down is Bryant. Kobe draws the double. They double him with Boozer. Here's Howard. The open shot, Kobe. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. 25 points for Kobe Bryant. Goes against Nash. Kobe with the steal. You know, guys, it's interesting. Such a good first half for him. Not one turnover, but since halftime, we've been coughing it up repeatedly. You know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. they got to be physical. they got to man up in there. I agree. When you look at the points they're giving up, most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. Took him no time at all on that one. Rose has got five points now in the quarter. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Here's Kobe. And there's another one for the Lakers. Now defensively, you have to question the effort, but uh, nice play there. On its way from Rose for two. Again, Chicago. It's been a great day for him from the field, but his team still trailing. They double team Kobe. Gasol gets it over to Nash. The Cotton Bones go off the pick and took it right in. And the Lakers lead by five. Another great job of moving the basketball and finding a good shot. Steve, that's been the thing for them so far. I mean, they've really worked well as a unit together. And the assist totals echo that. Oh, they're getting scorched by all these open threes they're giving up. Yeah, it's really been the biggest pitfall for this club so far tonight. So many wide open looks for the opponent. Here's Nash. Gives him the lead pass. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Nash. Nash has got five assists in the game. Rose against Nash. Lead away. Again, Chicago. Again, lackluster transition defense. And, you know, seven of the last ten points, Steve, they've given up have been off the fast break. So it's pretty easy to see the problem. Now you got to do something to correct it. And then this it in. Slamming it home off the alley-oop. Remarkable. Well, his eyes got wide as he went up for that one. And he timed his leap perfectly to meet the pass at the top of its arc. Less than one minute left. Those can hit. They definitely had the advantage inside. Another big grab a moment ago. Rose against Nash. He's covered by Rhodes. Nash, the pass to Kobe. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Hooked away and stolen by Hamilton. Gasol with the steal. And here's the fast break. He goes up. And it's sent back by Noah. Urgent possession here, Clark. They need a basket. No doubt about it, Steve. They need quick efficient score. Boy, right now, it's really tough to stop Rose. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this is, it's been a, a nice game execution for this ball. Rose gets called for the reach. That's foul number two for him. A good foul. You've got to stop the clock in this situation. Exactly, Steve. I mean, the clock is their biggest ally right now. They need as much time as they can. Here's Kobe. And stolen by Hamilton. Excellent steal. That's a risky defensive play on this one. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. And Clark, you know, it was quite a nail-bite. Yeah, it was tight. Their guys were able to come up with big plays.